Now our GS1100E has given us a, over 40 years of fun adventures. This was one of the not so pleasant ones. And what this is, is a freezing cold day in the middle of the winter. And it was really cold. And what I decided to do, I wanted to head out. There was nobody else riding that day. I went out on my own. Went all through Harriman Park. Came back down. And back on Long Meadow Boulevard had a, uh, well, I don't want to spoil the adventure. We had a little adventure at the end of this. But the ride was good. This bike, of course, is always fun to ride. And we always do... Uh, enjoy sharing the rides but but you never know when one of these adventures can just creep up on you and we learned a valuable lesson and i'm going to share that at the end of this video but for right now get your winter riding gear on it's cold out there now as i'm leaving rutherford and of course you can see there's still some snow in places but up north as i go up north there's more and more snow more and more ice and as you can imagine, uh, fewer and fewer motorcycles too. But this was a really cold day. I remember this well. This stuck in my mind. And I remember thinking, you know, that coffee would taste really good about now as I'm spinning the bike around by the ice wall. And I was trying to take some pictures, trying to shoot some video. I wanted to share the adventure, of course. In the middle of the winter like this, if you don't get to ride for weeks at a time, can really get lonesome now some of the lakes had already thawed out but some were still frozen but you never know and that's the that's the whole adventure of going out in cold weather And part of the park is full of snow and when you come down to the lower land the snow is all melted but just knowing that tomorrow is going to be big snow makes this ride really special at the roads by the golf course and this is the road leading to the golf course I was expecting it'd be a lot of uh, salt on these roads. <laughs> some of the roads had salt, some of them were wet, some were icy, and some were just like like nothing ever happened. It's It, it was very challenging this day to uh, find some traction and find a safe place to ride.
going to be fun cleaning up the bike when I get back to the house. There's still a lot of salt on the roads. Wow. It would be a good excuse to clean the bike again. Mikey Scott's favorite place, the ice wall. This is pretty funny on the way back. I'm coming back on the way down Long Meadow here. I stopped to take a picture. It looked like, in fact, they're still out there chopping the ice. I thought that'd make a nice picture. I went to start the bike. That is a doornail, so I guess our seven year old battery, it's time for a new battery. Now, one of the things with this bike, to get to the battery, you gotta take the air filter off. A lot of stuff has to come off, but uh, luckily Luciano's got one of these little portable jumpers that uh, maybe I'll get one now too. A good idea. Oh, and a stroke of really good luck. Look at this. You need, so you get the battery out or to get a jump started, you got to take, of course, the air filter, all the side covers have to come off. But you need something to hold the tank up. Normally I use a uh, rubber hammer. Well, that ain't happening today, but the perfect size piece of styrofoam. Oh, there's another piece right over there. Look at that. In case I need to do this twice in one day, but hey, this, and I laugh at times like this because I know the adventures of owning old motorcycles, it never ends. It's always something. See, it serves me right. This is what I stopped to see. They were ice fishing. So it looked like somebody was going, hey, they're going back in there. Can't really go over there, but uh, they're going into the water. So, here I am. Good thing I have friends like Luciano coming with the pepperoni repair truck. And it's time. We're definitely going to get a brand new battery. And I think I'm going to look at getting one of those things that you carry with you to jump start it. That might be a, as I, after the horse is out of the barn, he buys horseshoes. And this is how you really know who your friends are. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? He didn't show up yet. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Look at this, another piece of foam. How can you even make that stuff up? You can't make it up. So anyway, while I'm waiting for Luciano, I had given some thought to, uh, obviously we're gonna get a new battery. And one of the things we want to uh, maybe consider here is, and I'm thinking about it more and more, I know Luciano has one of these little things with jump, jumper cables and uh, maybe the, the way to go. Because basically not a lot of motorcycles out today, even though it's pretty nice, it's above freezing. So just while I'm waiting here, some of the adventures Luciano and I have been on, some bikes breaking, seizing up. Oh man, this brings back a lot, not all good memories either. Some of them are bad. But it's always an adventure. And if you know where, oh, here he comes. No, that's not him. I guess he stopped off to get a pepperoni pizza here or something. Luciano, where's Luciano when you need him? Oh, oh, Luciano, we should go for some pepperoni pizza here. Oh my goodness. So Luciano got here, and he's got this cool thing. Let's see. Wait, I'm going to buy one of these, obviously. I hope it works. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Yeah, in two don't, minutes. don't say that. <laughs> don't say it's a Maybe we shouldn't put this ad on Amazon yet. I don't know if he's going to work. Oh my! Out. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Pete had something like this. He was because his BMW was going dead all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He said it worked good. Well, I guess we're going to find out. So our cold ride turned into a quite an adventure. Thank you, Luciano, for the, the rescue and the loan of the uh, jumper battery. And of course, it's from this ride that I learned a very valuable lesson uh, when you're going to ride in cold weather like this. 
always have a little jump of battery with me. I've bought them. I've put on my channel many times. Uh, we've saved at least three people I can think of right off the top of my head that had dead batteries. Some at Perry's and some at the various places. Um, well, cold weather and dead batteries seem to go together. And it, as I got, did get home, I got a brand new lithium battery for I don't know, $150. The, the jumper is about 70 and you can get them from Amazon. And there's several brands and they all seem to work the same. Pete has one, uh, Jose has one, and this is bright tech, but they're all pretty good. And if you're gonna ride far from home or in cold weather or both, that's an excellent, excellent investment. And we do have dedicated videos to, uh, to that out on the channel. But this was actually the ride that encouraged me or taught me <laughs> to go get that jumper battery for cold weather. A good, good tip. So if you've shared this little adventure with us, and, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it, of course, and possibly uh, pick up some good information. And, of course, cleaning that bike at the end of a ride is always an adventure, too. But I really did learn a good lesson, and I was able to share it. And being out there, if we did not have that battery, it would have been calling up the uh, the insurance company that charges you to tow the bike home. And we're about 40 miles from home here. Uh, it probably would have been more money than the jumper battery. And the, the good thing with the jumper battery, I learned the hard way with the first one I had, charge them every two months to full charge. Don't just let them sit. And then when you need it, it'll be there. Thanks so much for watching.